back to the Learning the Elements Through Illustrator video series. If you are interested in detailed plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. Texture is how a surface feels, or in our case, what a texture looks like it would feel like. So in this video, I'll be using a clipping mask to demonstrate 10 different textures. And at the end of the video, I'll give you specific instructions on what you'll need to have completed before you move on to the next one. First, I want you to think of a word that describes a texture. Then I want you to go to your search engine, type that word into an image search, and see what comes up. Choose your favorite image and save that image into a safe place. It doesn't copy the image, it copies the image location. So you need to keep these images handy, otherwise later when you open up your Illustrator document, you might lose those images. So I saved that image, I'm gonna go to the folder that I saved them into, and I can drag it into my Illustrator window. This is a rather large image, so I'm going to get my selection tool, and make it smaller. You can hold down shift to keep it from distorting and put it on my page. Now real quick for the fun of it, I'm going to save this document and close out of it. And then I'm gonna go to my picture here and just move it. If you happen to move or delete your images that you use in an Illustrator document, and then you try to open it later, then you'll come up with this error pop-up. It says that the linked file, fuzzy plant, so on and so forth, was not found. And would you like to replace or find a new link? So that's why we need to save your images in a special place so that they don't get moved. So I'll move this back to the folder that I had it in before. And when I open it, my picture will be there. Now you'll need to get your text tool and type the word that you've chosen. Get your selection tool and change the font to something that's going to be thick and bold. Place your font wherever you want to on your page, wherever seems most like the texture you've chosen. Select both of these and then you can do a clipping mask to it and you have your word with the texture inside of it. Now, if you double click on your word, you are isolating your word, and you can see the bounding box of your image. So if I wanted to, I could move that around to find a better part of the picture. And when I'm finished, I just double click outside of the image. You're gonna be doing 10 words this way, so to review, you type in a word, you find your image, you can right click over here to get your save image as, and make sure you save it in that safe secure area and drag them in to your page. You're going to wanna have somewhat large images. You can always make an image smaller, but if you make an image bigger, then it's going to make it pixelated and that won't look good. The other thing that you might need to know is that you need to put your image in before you type your word. If I was to type my word first and then put my image in and do the effect, it will not allow the effect to work. If this happens, or if you would rather type all your words first, that's fine. You're just going to have to right click on your word and bring it to the front, and then the clipping mask will work. And there you go. Remember to hold down shift when you resize. That's it for this one. Just choose 10 textures, type the word, and find an image to apply a clipping mask to. If you like this video and want more resources, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. And I'll catch you in the next video.